On this channel, we focus on chasing these stories. We look for properties that have an architectural pedigree, character, or we're simply curious on how and why these homes are built. Well, today's episode encompasses all of that and then some. This home is in Beverly Hills. It's built on this incredible lot facing these breathtaking views. It features a shark tank, grand interiors, and a backyard that feels like your own personal oasis. And that's just the beginning of it. So without further ado, let's go take a look at this incredible home. Welcome to Beverly Hills. I'm really excited for today's tour. This property is incredible. We're on the motor court right now, and this property is extremely private and secure. These massive gates open up to a long driveway. You can easily park 15 to 20 cars up here, and down below us, we have a subterranean garage that can easily hold 15 additional cars. Now, it gets better because the driveway also continues to the back of the property where we have additional two-car garage, and there's a staircase there that takes you directly to the primary bedroom suite, and we're gonna see that side of the home later on the tour. Now, coming back here, this has to be one of the most impressive motor cars we've ever toured in the city. Look at these views. I mean, it is insane. Then we have this paved driveway, beautiful home, palm trees, tiled roof, stucco finish. A lot is going on on this tour. I'm really excited. We got a big property to cover. I can't stop. Yeah, the way this house sits up on a hill like this, it's, it's crazy. I mean, it basically sits on a massive retaining wall. It wraps the hillside. That's how you get these amazing views and you live in a place like this. Come on, follow me this way. Let's check out some of the details here. Beautiful entry. Again, it's all stucco and precast stone. We have this dome ceiling detail here because as soon as you walk in, you go into this two-story foyer. Just like the motor court, this space is also very impressive. I love this curved staircase going up to the second floor. Right above us, we have this massive dome ceiling with a chandelier right in the center, Venetian plaster, wrought iron railing, inlaid floors. It's so tasteful. Then on the bottom of the staircase, we have this water feature setting its own as you walk into this beautiful home. Now, follow me this way. We have the first opening here, taking us to the game room. Plush carpet on the floors, pool table in the center, chandelier, TV, dark cabinetry, built-ins, and we have a poker table here. This is a really nice room, and there's just a lot of weight to it. Yeah, something about these like wood-clad offices, like lounges, Wait till you see the office on the second floor. It's incredible. Yeah, I, I don't know why. I just always like these, these spaces. I'm right there with you. Yeah. All right, follow me back. Now let's go to the other side. By the way, this is the main hallway that takes you to the rest of the home. This door right here opens up to the lower level, which we're gonna check out later. And follow me this way so we can check out the first seating area. Hardwood floors, beautiful stone fireplace that complements the seating area, piano around the corner, multiple French doors opening up to the courtyard, and we have a massive picture window here facing the views. Ceiling height is great, same Venetian plaster is also here, and lastly, before we leave this room, we also have a jukebox here, dressing the room very nicely and just complementing the space. We, this room kind of has a musical theme with the piano, the guitars, the drum kit. We have Tom Jones, Ray Charles, uh, the doors on the wall, it's interesting. It is interesting. Yeah. Follow me this way. Now we have this long hallway. On my right hand side, wine cellar. On my left hand side, there's a beautiful bar. What do you call these doors? Bar doors? Bar doors, swing doors. I love them. I don't, you're, the, you're, the, you're the details guy. I know? know, it's just like how it looks so seamless with the cabinetry, but it's actually a functional door. Yeah. Then you go into the second seating area. I'm gonna say this is more like your formal living room. Again, you have your comfortable couches, chairs, coffee table in the center, coffered ceiling above. Look at all these arches, pillars, Venetian plaster. This house has Andalusian architecture, and I don't think we've ever seen or toured that kind of architecture on our channel before. It has some European influence to it. I can see the Mediterranean details, stucco. Then you see the pillars. It even has a little bit of an Islamic, I feel like, 
influence to it, like a little bit of a Morocco in there. A lot's happening. Yeah, you, you've spent some time in southern Spain with me, so they have a really interesting architectural history. They were like invaded by the Moors through uh, North Africa a very long time ago, so that kind of like, they have this little Islamic flair to, to their like Spanish architecture. And like you can see the hand painted tiles throughout the property as well. A lot's happening, but I think it just looks beautiful. It's one of a kind, and this is your formal living room. Now, there are two more important details here. Number one is the fish tank right behind me. This has to be one of the biggest fish tanks we've ever seen on our channel. Yeah. It has two sharks in it. Sharks. I gotta be honest, a little while ago, Ennis is like, should I call this a fish tank or aquarium? And I was like, fish tank, but I didn't really realize how big it was. So maybe- That's maybe, why I asked. Maybe this is an aquarium, you know? This is crazy. This is your backdrop. You even have a pop-up TV here, lights up at night, which I can't wait to see then. And yeah, just compliments your formal living room. Now, let's cover the specs of this property. We have nine bedrooms. 18 bathrooms, 21,000 square feet of interior space, built on a 3.6 acre lot, on the market for $59,995,000. And I wanna give big thanks to the listing agents, Josh Altman, Matt Altman, and Jake Mills for making this tour possible. As always, you can find more information about this property in the description of this video. So I wanna get that out of the way. Now, follow me this way. Second important detail about this room is the fact that we have motorized sliding glass doors seamlessly opening up to the patio. All right, everyone, before we continue our tour, I wanna to give big thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. We take mental health very seriously, and we believe that therapy is an amazing outlet to be utilized if you feel the need to talk to someone. If you don't know what BetterHelp is, they're the world's largest online therapy service with over 25,000 licensed and experienced therapists. And because they're 100% online, it makes it really easy for you to book appointments that fit into your schedule, especially for someone like myself who travels all the time. To get started, all you have to do is go to their website, answer a few questions, that way BetterHelp can match you with the right therapist. After that, you book your appointment at a time that works for you and you can talk to your therapist via text message, phone call, or FaceTime. And if for some reason the person that you match isn't working out for you, you can switch to a new therapist absolutely free of charge. With BetterHelp, you can expect to get the same quality and professional service that you would get in person, but with a therapist who is going to work with your schedule and at a more affordable price. Get 10% off your first month by going to betterhelp.com slash NS. That's better H help and I'll also link them in the description of this video if you want to learn more about BetterHelp and their services. Big thanks to them for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to the tour. First we have the coverage section with built-in speakers and these ceiling fans and if you look above you can see that they carried out the same coffered ceiling detail to this section as well. We have lounging beds here and then patio takes to this space where we have the water feature. Look at these views incredible i mean you have the entire city in front of you from downtown los angeles all the way to the ocean we are five minutes away from beverly hills hotel 10 minutes away from rodeo drive and that's really impressive to me because you live on a hillside but you're still so close to the center of beverly hills your zip code is 90210 it doesn't get much better than that and this is your backdrop I feel like we haven't done that many homes in this little nook of Beverly Hills. Uh, well, we've actually done two. Yeah. Do you remember that house right there? I Modern do. Modern property? I do actually, I saw that when we got here. That was one of our first. We toured that property two years ago. Yeah. That video did extremely well. Maybe three, that was one of our first early viral videos. Correct. Yeah. And then around the corner, we have the Sheets Goldstein residence. Has to be one of my favorite homes we've ever toured. That property is just insanity. Yeah. Also, one of our probably best one videos my, ever. One of my favorite edits I've ever done as well, yeah. So you're surrounded by amazing properties. These are your views and it gets better. Down below us, we have this grass section. It's like a little meditation area. And below that is an extremely spacious one bedroom, one bath guest home with its own kitchenette. Crazy. This house has so many different rooms, bathrooms, areas, lounges. It's pretty incredible. Yeah. I mean. Let's continue. Now, we're back at the formal living room. Again, we have the aquarium here. I also wanna mention another thing. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. I believe two, three episodes ago, Colin uh, did a tour of this property in Bel Air and he got a lot of comments. Colin, say hi to everyone. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Are you excited? 
I'm stoked. It created a little stir in our office. Normally Mikey is the one behind the camera. That tour was done by Colin and now Armand was like, I want to do a cam as well. So on this episode, we're trying something a little bit different. Yeah. Mikey's doing the first floor. Mm -hmm. Armand is doing the second floor and Colin is doing the backyard. I'm curious to see whose footage looks the best. Yeah, y'all leave, leave a comment. Not only that, but who has the most entertaining dialogue? There you go. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be an interesting day. So three of our team members are gonna shoot the walkthrough. All right, follow me this way, back to the main hallway and look at all the details, arches, plaster walls, these Buddhas. And then we have this hallway here, taking us to two powder bathrooms. And at the end, we have the staff quarters. On that side, you have multiple bedrooms, kitchen, laundry room, seating area, all for your staff. And you can also access the motor court from that side as well. Now, the reason I wanted to come to this section is to tour these powder bathrooms. They are incredible. Look at all the details here, colors, textures, this hand-painted vanity here, beautiful natural stone countertops, brass fixtures. They even incorporated natural stone into the fixtures here. Water closet is behind me. Then you have this mirror set up on this side. It's not for everybody but it's a really unique bathroom and it's done really well. I mean, look at the curved ceilings and then the ceiling paint, a lot's happening. You know, it's just a powder bathroom. Yeah, it is a, a little change of pace based on the rest of the design of the home, you know? Correct. Then you come on this side, more of the lighter tones, but pretty much the same design elements, these custom vanities. Look at these brush nickel fixtures here, wall sconces. Then look at these curved ceilings, arch door openings. This is pretty special. Yeah, something about this bathroom is, is very cool, very different. All right, back to the hallway now, so we can continue our tour with the rest of the house. Now, I really like the ceiling design here with this hallway, it's so unique. Another thing I don't know the name of. Uh, it looks like a gong. Is that what it's called? Grab the mallet, let's get a gong Is there sim. a mallet? Oh yeah. my God, there's a mallet. <laughs> Ready? I hope that wasn't too loud on camera. No, I mean, it sounded great, actually. <laughs> okay. Sounded sounded like a sound effect almost. Like, it works. Yeah. Are you hearing the water feature off of the main pool? Yeah. Back out of this property is just unbelievable. I can't wait to get there, but now we're gonna check out the formal dining room. You have a massive table right in the center that sits 12, chandeliers above. Ceiling is also curved with mood lighting around. This is the other side of your fish tank that was facing the formal living room. Massive picture window here, facing the views that way. Even when you're enjoying your meal, you can look at these incredible views. Now, it gets better. There's actually a service hallway that connects this room to the kitchen, and this kitchen is stunning. We have a massive island right in the center, darker cabinetry, granite countertops. Above, we can see this ceiling mount pot rack, and with all these copper pans and pots and it looks really nice. It looks really rustic. This looks like a kitchen that would be in a home in Italy. Now, we have a pizza oven here. Can we get a close up? Oh, this wow. thing is heavy. Proper Usually we pizza see oven. these on the outside, but this would be nice to have. You have your stash down below. Look at all these spatulas. Is that what you call them? Spatulas, like, it's basically a big spatula, yeah. There you go. Some built ins here. Then you have your 60 inch wolf gas stove, pot filler, custom vent above. Massive kitchen, refrigerated drawers. I'm just gonna open up everything I see. Multiple dishwashers. Then we have this aged brass sink here. Massive picture window in front of it with casement sections. We have the shade down right now to diffuse the light because this property gets a lot of natural light. Yeah. So we wanted to kind of calm down the lighting in the kitchen, make it easier for our cameras. You have two exterior doors that open up to the patios on each side. And then coming this way, rest of your kitchen your panel freezer and fridge, and a little service counter here because there's a pocket door that leads us to the informal dining area. Table in the center, seating for six, coffer ceilings above, two massive picture windows, and right in the center we have the French doors opening up to the patio on this side. You can actually hear the water features and the waterfalls off of the backyard in this room. Yeah. And the backyard is insane. Yeah, all y'all can do is hear them right now because we don't want to show those. Y'all will see those in a little bit. It's like having your own Four Seasons back there. It's yeah. just incredible. We're gonna see that later. Now, going back to the kitchen because I wanna show a detail on this hallway. So this is the main hallway, right? Right on the other side, there's a staircase that goes up to the second floor, complemented with a water feature here. 
This staircase goes up directly to the landing of the primary bedroom suite. Now, the reason they designed it that way is because that door opens up to the back driveway and that hallway takes you to the two car garage. So the owner can come to the back of the property, park in the garage and go directly up to their primary bedroom without having to go through the house. Clever detail. That's nice to have. Without a doubt. All right, back to the hallway again. So we can check out the family room. I think this is my favorite seating area in the house. You have a massive L-shaped couch, coffee table, lounging bed, fireplace, but more importantly, you can see your backyard and you can hear your backyard, yeah. which is really exciting. Mike, you follow me this way. There's also a really nice bar here with a water wall. Now we actually saw this water feature on the other side where we have the secondary staircase. It's technically double-sided, but I thought for a second that water was also running on this side. It's not, it's just the texture. That would have been cool. That would have been really cool. Yeah. I was like, how smart. I, I saw the glass shelves set forward. I'm like, oh my God, water is running on the other side too. Yeah. But it's not, still looks great. You have an amazing bar here, wine fridge, regular fridge, dual elevation countertops, bar seating, cool art piece. And coming back here, again, we have the fireplace right in the center. There's actually a TV here, wanted to mention that, and fish tanks on each side. Now I'm trying to remember the last time we saw a big fish tank in a house. I think it was the property in Malibu. Yeah. It was super cool as well. And these are some unique fishes. Look at that guy. He's, he's a happy, this one. He's a happy looking guy. I know. I've been making some eye contact with him. Look at that. Hold on. Very nice. What a backdrop oh, yeah. for your family room. And again, space is incredible. These are motorized sliding glass doors, seamlessly opening up. Picture window facing the city. You have a massive patio here. That's the start of your incredible backyard. But before we tour that space, I actually want to take everybody downstairs so we can check out the entertainment level. Now, this level is really exciting. We got a few cool rooms to see off of the landing small seating area, foosball table here, then double doors open up to the game room. I love these timeless arcade games, Elvis Presley, Star Wars, Pirates of Caribbean, cool art fixture above. And before I continue, I wanna mention, Armand is behind the camera doing the A cam now. How's it going, Armand? Everything is going great. I love this floor, actually. I mean, this floor is super exciting. Did you know that Elvis Presley had a pinball game? I actually didn't know that. It looks so fun, not to mention, there's actually a bedroom upstairs that's also Elvis themed. We're gonna see that later. And again, I'm just surprised that Elvis Presley had a pinball game. Let's continue. Now, back to the landing. Over there, we have the first opening leading you to the elevator. Next to that is a very, very interesting room. Arman, can we get a close up? Mm -hmm. What is this sign right here? Oh, there's a photograph camera. It's a photo booth. Oh, no way. It's so cool. You sit down here, you have your LED lighting, take your photos, just have fun. This level is all about fun. And yeah, this is your photo booth. Let's close the door and check out the bar that's next door. I just love the textures, details here, cold lighting above, glass shelves on the back, your bar beautifully curves, bar seating. It's just a really nice space that welcomes you to the movie theater. I love that they even brought the Buddha statues here. Sorry for shaking the Buddha. And continuing our tour, service hallway for the movie theater. This is where you have your snacks, popcorn machines. On the other side, you have a half bathroom. And then these custom double doors lead you into the movie theater. I gotta say, this has to be one of the coolest movie theaters we've ever seen on our channel. Just the way it's designed, wall panels, wall padding with these wall sconces that are also pillars. Then you have three tier seating with recliner chairs, comfortable seating on the bottom. You have your stage, massive TV. A lot is going on on this movie theater. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed touring the lower level. Now, let's go all the way to the top floor so we can see the bedrooms. Here we are on the second floor. First thing I wanna talk about is the dome ceiling here with the chandelier. It is such a statement piece. And this landing alone, the curvature, staircase, these stained glass windows. And the first room we're gonna check out is the office. Double doors open up, 
you have this incredible space. Views are absolutely fantastic. Sliding glass doors open up to a beautiful balcony that is joined by a couple of the bedrooms on this level. That way you can enjoy the outdoors a little bit more. And the space is phenomenal. You have a seating area, fireplace, built-ins on this side, massive TV. And of course, comes with a half bathroom as well. Two curved French doors face the courtyard as well, so you can bring even more natural light and good breeze to this room. Now, follow me back to the landing. Look at the length of this hallway. It's insane. This is where we have most of the bedroom suites, and at the end, we have the primary bedroom, which we're going to last. Now, follow me this way. We're not going there yet. We have this long hallway taking us to a few rooms. At the end, we have the spa in the gym, laundry room here, and this door opens up to the first bedroom suite on this level. We mentioned it in the game room on the lower level that one of the rooms was Elvis themed, and this is that room. I love the bed covers here. Then there's a really nice photo of Elvis over here, just to remind you. And it's just a nice cozy bedroom, pretty spacious, comes with a king size bed. Around the corner, we have a full bathroom, you have your desk, and this is one of the bedrooms. And I don't wanna to take too much time here because this house has so many different rooms and I'm gonna do my best to cover them all. Laundry room, follow me this way. This is a staircase that takes you down to the staff quarters, so there's an easy access point. And then going through this door, we have the gym. It's a very spacious room. You have the mirror back wall, French doors open up to a front facing balcony. That way you can get natural light and fresh air to this room. A few gym equipment, TV, you have everything you need here. And then you follow me this way. We have pocket doors opening up to your spa. I like the natural stone floors. Right in the center, you have this massive jetted tub, water closet, steam shower, vanity. You even have a barber chair here if you want to get a haircut. This house just has a lot of surprises. What do you think, Arma? I think they use the space really good. Uh, you have everything. Uh, it's not small, it's not big. I'm talking about this area, Yeah. but you have everything. I like it. And we have a lot of bedrooms to see, and that's why I'm gonna jump back to the landing so we can continue our tour with the other wing. Like I said earlier, there are a lot of bedrooms in this house, so we're gonna brush over a couple of them. This is the first one, faces the backyard, amazing views, comes with its own full bathroom. Then on the other side, we have another bedroom. This one faces the back. You have your elevator landing here, and follow me couple more rooms to see. Why don't we check out this bedroom here? This one will be the fourth one. Just like the rest of the rooms that we toured, this one is very spacious. King size bed right in the center. We have the desk on this side. TV comes with a walk-in closet and it also has sliding glass doors opening up to that main balcony that connects the other bedroom and the office together. That way you can enjoy these amazing views straight from your bedroom. Now follow me this way so we can check out the bathroom for this room. Long vanity here, stone countertops. Then you have your walk-in shower here, double fixtures, super spacious. And yeah, this is the fourth bedroom. Now follow me back to the hallway. Last bedroom here faces the back of the property. And at the end, we have the landing for the primary bedroom suite. Now we talked about the staircase here on the first floor. This is how you come up directly to the primary bedroom suite without having to go through the other staircases. Then landing has so many different details with the dome ceilings here, Buddha statues, dark hardwood floors. A lot is happening here, including the trim around the door. And then we have the double doors opening up to the primary bedroom suite. Now, where do I begin with this room? Look at the ceiling design here with these exposed beams. Then right in the center, they have this crazy contraption for the TV. It actually tucks to the ceiling. That way you can be in your king size bed, enjoy the views. And whenever you want to watch TV, push of a button. You have the TV right in front of you. Seating area on this side, another lounging bed. And to warm up the room, they place the fireplace here. But of course, two fish tanks. Again, these fish tanks light up at night. So it's just a really cool view to look at. We have carpet throughout, beautiful woodwork. There's actually a small wet bar here on this side. And yeah, just a really nice space. And I don't wanna talk about the views and the outdoor spaces yet because we're gonna check them out in a second. Now follow me here. Let's go to the bathroom. Right in the center, we have the glass enclosed walk-in shower, book match stone, rain head above. 
all these fixtures and I really appreciate that it's glass enclosed that way you can enjoy the views from your walk and shower. Now follow me this way. This is your first set of vanity. Looks beautiful, darker tone cabinetry. It's all vein match. I love this inlay design here. Natural stone countertops, all sconces. And now let's go through here. First water closet on this side, by the way. Now let's check out the walk-in closet. Island in the center, all this wardrobe space, open shelving, hangers, chandelier in the center. And this is the first section of the walk-in closet. On the other side, we have the second part. This one also comes with an island, another chandelier, ton of cabinetry, you have your drawers, open shelving, pretty much everything you need, and a good size walk-in closet that matches the primary bedroom suite. Now, ready for the second part of the primary bathroom? This is where we have the built-in tub, stone surround, it's all jetted, and then look at this opening here. These are fantastic. Downtown Los Angeles, Beverly Hills down below you. It's pretty incredible. I'm sure it's an experience to just get in this tub and enjoy this bathroom. Now facing this way, we have the second vanity. Again, natural storm countertops, beautiful cabinetry. We have the walk-in shower behind Armand. And it doesn't end here because we're gonna open up the French doors here to the wraparound balcony for the primary bedroom suite. I love this space because it really connects the room to the outdoors. We have a covered seating area here, complemented with a fireplace. That way you can just enjoy these views. It continues, sliding glass doors open up from the bedroom. I'm why don't you go this way? I'm just gonna wrap around to the other side of the balcony. Another seating area, fire pit, sliding glass doors open up. I mean, this is incredible. This is your bedroom and it just flows to the outside. In fact, you have a private staircase here that takes you directly to the pool. We should check that out next. Like we saw earlier, we have a sliding glass doors opening up to the covered patio off of the family room. There's another patio here, but more importantly, this is where we have the pool. Now this space, this part of the backyard is just insane. So many different water features, waterfalls. You have the pool, grotto down below there with a hot tub and a seating area that has a bar. So much is going on here. Flagstone on the floors, multiple fire pits. I can't contain my excitement. I'm so ready to tour this part of the house. And also we have Colin behind the camera. Colin, say hi. Hey, what's going on everyone? Colin, are you excited to tour the backyard with me? I'm stoked. I've never seen anything like this. I feel like I'm at a resort right now. This exactly. Is, this is All right, let's take everybody. Come on. So we have lounging areas here. Views are incredible. Just walking around this property and looking around is an experience on its own. And then again, look at the landscaping here. Look how they developed the hillside to incorporate all these water features, rocks, details. There's actually a 35 foot water slide that connects to your pool area as well. It's pretty crazy. All right, let's go this way. Before we continue checking out the rest of the pool, I actually wanna bring everybody to this side. You have this grass section here, glass railing throughout, and these views, Pacific Ocean, Santa Monica, Wilshire Corridor, all the way to downtown Los Angeles. It's tranquil, it's relaxing, and you have all this space to yourself. And I gotta say, between the interior square footage, lot, location, these view corridors, and all of it coming together, for the price point, it's a great value because you just get so much with it. And if you wanna put your own personal touch to it, you have all the square footage, interior spaces, this amazing backyard. You can do just a lot with this property. So I wanted to mention that. Now, let's go this way. We have a really cool detail here. So Lazy River, and on the other side, we have a koi pond. What's so cool about this koi pond is the fact that you have a glass insert right here to see the fish inside of the koi pond while you're on your Lazy River. How crazy is that? I mean, why would you not want to be able to see your fish while you're swimming through your Lazy River? You, know you might I mean? as well. <laughs> This is crazy. All right, follow me, Colin. Let's continue our tour. Again, views are fantastic. Palm trees, landscaping looks incredible. We have an outdoor dining area, kitchen there. Rest of the backyard. This is the second part of your main pool. I love the mosaic tile here that they have throughout the property. It just gives it a nice reflective and a contemporary look. And then going this way, we have this bridge taking us to the other side. Now let's cover the outdoor kitchen dual elevation, stove, gas grill, fridges, bar seating on this side, 
And Colin, can we get a close up on this outdoor dining table? I love that they brought the mosaic details even to this table to match the architectural lines of this home. Insane. Now you can see the koi pond from here as well. Another water feature. Look at all the fish that's down there. Insane. Can we get a close up? Are you seeing all the koi? Oh yeah. Pretty crazy. All right, let's continue our tour. There is a staircase here that takes you to another elevated patio. It's nicely covered. And then coming down to this space, we have another covered seating area. I love how it's all decorated. You have your cushions on the back. You can see this stone design and they also have a pop-up TV here. That way you can raise it and watch TV straight from your pool, which is super cool. And ceiling treatment, these open shelves, candles, this space is a vibe. And then you go to the other side, there's another outdoor seating area with a fire pit. This is your second or third jacuzzi, I'm losing count. We also have outdoor bathrooms and outdoor showers throughout this backyard as well, so you don't have to go to the main house. And then you have the pool here, swim up bar with bar stools, infinity edge, these views. I gotta say, I don't think we've ever toured a property like this in Beverly Hills. I hope you all enjoyed it. And now let's see this place at dusk. it for the tour hope you all enjoyed this video what an amazing home and i want to give big thanks to the listing agents josh altman matt altman and jade melts for making this tour possible as always you can find more information about this listing in the description of this video lastly if you enjoyed the tour make sure to give us a like subscribe to our channel and we'll see you guys next week <music>